first day of building the Jeep, the converted Jeep we're going to turn into a mini camper and I'll be posting a uh, step-by-step -step on how we do it, the stuff we use, and how we're gonna get about to do it. And I'm really excited, so let's start building this Jeep. After we measured our car, we bought a two by four and realized we would have to cut it to measure. Since the Jeep is only five feet long, we have to cut off about three feet. Our design is to have that three feet connected by a latch to the end of it so we can open our trunk and unlatch it and have our full eight feet. We shave a few inches off the side to fit. Before we do any more, we take it out to the car to see if it can fit, and it does really well. Yay, everything works! The measurements for this board are now 61 by 42, which is the bottom of our entire bed. We bought five 2x4s for support. We cut the 2x4s to measure our baseboard, and then we're going to have three of them in the middle for support. Alright, so we started building the base of the um, bed for it, and we measured everything out. Um, we got the wrong kind of wood screws, but we're getting creative with it. So he's out there um, starting to build that now, and I'm going to go vacuum out the car because, you know, goddamn. I'm going to keep that stuff clean before you put it in a bed. And yeah. Carter drilled in most of the planks at this point, and we just need to finish up most of the drill work in the middle. The main bed frame is now put together, and we put it in the car for size, and it fits perfectly. Now to move on to the latch. The first thing we have to do is cut the plank to size. The plank is too long, so we have to take a bit off of the end. The next thing we have to do to this is drill in the hinges, and then we can screw it in the car. The main frame is built and it folds out correctly. With our remaining 2x4s, we cut them to size from the end of the latch to the ground for feet. With the legs, it's really important that you have an exact measurement. Ours is accurate, and so all we need to do is attach the hinges to both sides. Now this is the finished skeleton for our entire car. The legs fold up and the rest of the bed pops right back into the trunk. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. Um, so that's the main outline of our conversion Jeep van kind of thing. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I've been wanting to do this kind of thing for a really long time. Um, most of the time I only see van life, van conversion videos and, you know, things like that. And so it kind of made me feel like held back in a way because I, I felt like I couldn't actually achieve this just like living on the road kind of trip unless I had like the van set up and everything figured out that way. And so like, that kind of held me back for a long time until I realized 
you can just like if you roll with what you have <laughs> as hard as you can you can you can come up with some pretty cool results and so this is a really cool result I think and I'm really proud of it and I can't wait to start um, we're leaving this Friday to start going around in our um, car to our destination Washington but we're gonna just take everywhere up on the west coast to go up everywhere um, I'll be videotaping a lot of it vlogging a lot of it we're going to Ashland Oregon I'll be going to Eugene Oregon Port Ortford um, a lot of places in Seattle a lot of places in um, the Mendocino Humboldt Redwood um, area so that's where we're going to be spending a lot of our time I'm really excited about the whole thing and getting this Jeep finally converted it feels so like <sighs> liberating so I'm really excited to start anyone else out there who has who would like to start something like this out of like a minivan or a truck or something um, I hope this video has inspired you at least a little bit to kind of like start coming up with ways to you know live on the road or at least have a cool kind of camping setup you know so I just want to like here if anyone else has any ideas and I'm glad that you watched this video. I'll be posting more videos about how I make the curtains, how I decorate the inside, and all of that stuff coming up really soon. But this is just the um, building of the actual frame. So uh, I'm glad you watched. Thank you for watching and I'll be posting more videos up soon. Thank you.